my name is Cassandra Malik, and I am the Early Literacy and Children's Services Program Manager for Montgomery County Public Libraries. There's my contact information. And if we backtrack one moment since I skipped that, our presentation today that we are going to talk about is MCPLNU. So uh, that crafting your own library experience where we're going to share some helpful library resources that uh, we want to make sure you're aware of and go over how to use some, some of the different resources that we offer. All right, um, so my name's Miranda Schaffer and I'm the head children's, I'm gonna spotlight myself. I'm the head children's and of teen and children's services at the Germantown Library. And with me is, Hi everyone, my name is Luz Flores. I'm a children's librarian at the Noise Library for Young Children. Okay, so we're gonna dive right in. Um, as most of you guys may know, Montgomery County has 21 library branches. MCPL is currently open seven days a week, Monday through Thursdays from 10 to 8 p.m., Friday, Saturday, and Sundays from 10 to 6 p.m. The Noise Library, uh, for young children it has a little bit of a few different hours. Um, you can maybe see Luz there from on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from 9 to 5, and Wednesdays from 1 to 8 p.m. The library system has approximately 2.2 million items in its physical inventory and collection. We also have a gambit of digital resources, around 200 of them, and that's not even counting all of our ebooks, e magazines, and all the other cool e stuff we have. Today, we're going to look at MCPL's website. First, Luz is going to take you on a tour of our new catalog, Aspen, and then we're gonna look at some of the library's most popular digital resources with a few tips and tricks along the way. So I'm gonna hand this over to Luz, who's gonna show you our website. Hello, everyone. I am here to talk to you guys about our Aspen catalog, but first, this is um, our library website. It's montgomerycountymd.gov slash library. It's a website that you're gonna wanna remember. So write it down, bookmark it, memorize it, make sure that you know it because this um, link will get you to all the resources that you need. So here we have our, MC, our Montgomery County Public Library homepage. And usually our homepage highlights um, MCPL's most popular resources and any big news ticket items for the library system. So we just recently resumed our Sunday hours. That's why it's big and yellow right here on the side. Um, we now, except for Maggie Nightingale and like Miranda said, um, the Noise Library for Young Children, the rest of the libraries are open on Sundays um, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. If we scroll a little down, you will see resources that are high, that are spotlighted usually during the month. So um, sometimes it's six, sometimes it's nine. It just depends on what resources the, the library wants to spotlight. For example, um, March is Women's History Month. So that is one of our spotlights and you can click on it for more information and it'll tell you what kind of programs we might have for that. Last month, which was February, was Library Lovers Month. So that's still up there. Um, if you want to work at MCPL, you can find more information there. So you can click on any one of these more information resources and it'll give you more information on whatever it is that you want to know. So we're going to scroll up a little because we're going to get to our um, Aspen catalog. So you can get to the catalog one of two ways. The first way is you can go up here in our search bar and you can search for a book author. Um, you can search for a book author or by a subject. So if you're looking for a book on dogs, you can just type in dogs and then click search and it'll take you right to our, our new Aspen catalog. Another way to get to our Aspen catalog is by logging into your account. So you would just put in your library card number and your password and log in and it'll take you right to our Aspen catalog. So let's talk about our catalog. Um, MCPL's Aspen catalog has a lot of really great features. 
from book lists and recommended reading to staff picks and all the goodies we love like new DVDs, which is right here in these little blue boxes. You can just click on whichever one that you're interested in. So if you're just interested in what new DVDs we have, um, you can look at all the, all the DVDs. You can sort them by just adult DVDs, or if you want, you can sort them by kids DVDs and it'll tell you all our new DVDs. Um, also, if you're looking at for um, New York Times bestsellers, that's another book list that we have on here that you can check out as well. We have our on orders. So everyone who's waiting for a book to come out, you can put it on hold from our on order book list, um, but you're gonna wanna sign into your account. And that is what we're gonna show you how to do today. So if you look right here in this corner, it's gonna say sign in and you're gonna click and you're gonna put in your library card number and your password, and you're gonna sign in. So once you sign into your account, if you don't have a library card, you can register for a digital card that you can later convert into a physical card once you come back into the library. So once you're logged into your account, as you can see, what, um, you will see a summary of your account. So you can see how many books you have checked out, if you have any books overdue, um, how many holds you have on your account, and whether you have books ready for pickup at the library that you've chosen to pick your books up. You can click on any one of these boxes for more information. So if I wanna know what books are ready for me to pick up, I would just click on this box and it'll tell me which books are ready for pickup and where's my pickup location? So it'll tell me that my pickup location is noise and it should be picked up by March 19th. And so you can look at that, box. you can click on any one of those boxes for more information on which books um, are ready for pickup or how many books you have checked out if you just wanna check when your books are due. Let's see, you can also, um, change your preferences. So if you don't want emails anymore and you just want um, text message notifications, you can go right into your settings where is your preference and you can click um, you can um, click your messaging settings, which is right here and you can just go to SMS, which is um, your text messaging services and you can do text messaging and email. Just make sure that you do click digest only so that if you check out a bunch of books at once, you don't get reminders for each and every book. So you want them all digested in one text message or one email. Um, I personally love um, making purchase suggestions and once you read a book, you can even rate it so that you can get more recommendations, more personalized recommendations. So if we're gonna look at a, our search bar up here, um, you'll see that it'll try and prompt you to narrow down what it is you're searching for. Um, and you can either click on what it is suggesting or you can just press enter, it doesn't matter. But from our search bar, you can search for, you can search by keyword, title, start of title, series, author, subject, or you can go into an advanced search. So we are gonna do a test search and we're gonna search by subject and we're gonna look for books on dogs. So let's type in dog. And it'll bring everything that features a dog on there. Um, and if there's an item that is available digitally, it'll let you know. So the wonderful Wizard of Oz, who has our sweet dog Toto, um, is available on Overdrive and Hoopla. So you can, if you wanna check it out digitally, you can check it out on Hoopla. If you click check out, it will inform you how many checkouts you have remaining for the month in Hoopla. In Hoopla, you get 10 checkouts a month um, and that resets itself at the beginning of every month. Um, and then in Overdrive, you can check it out in Overdrive too. And it'll ask you, um, I actually have too many books checked out on Overdrive, as you can see. <laughs> um, and it'll tell you if you want to put a hold on it instead until you finish your reading list from your Overdrive. Um, and that, you can do that, check it out digitally. So if I check this out on Hoopla, I'm going to go ahead and check it out just to show you guys. It'll tell me that I have six more Hoopla. I have six Hoopla titles checked out and I can borrow eight more this month. And if you click on view your checkouts, It'll show you the printed books you have checked out, the books you have checked out on Overdrive, and it'll also show you the books you have checked out on Hoopla. So you can go to either, you can click on either one of these. We're gonna go to Hoopla just to see. Um, 
and it'll show you um, that we just checked out the Wizard of Oz and you can click on it and get to where it is that you need to be. So once you have your digital um, item checked out, you can um, click whichever one you want and access it online and it'll take you to the digital resource that you want to see. Talking about digital resources, Miss Miranda is gonna go ahead and talk to you about all the digital resources available at Montgomery County. Go ahead, Miranda. All right. So I'm gonna steal the screen sharing from Luz. And I'm gonna share my screen. We'll talk some more. Okay. So from searching for books to placing hold, making lists and accessing our digital resources, MCPL's catalog is really worth exploring. I recommend you guys take a look at it on your own. There are a lot more features that we didn't talk about that I think you're going to love. Um, but do you wanna know what else is worth exploring on top of the catalog? It's the many digital resources that Montgomery County Public Libraries offer. Um, so to view all of our online resources, you can do it one of two ways. We're a fan of ways to do things here. So you can go to books and more and click on all online resources, or you can go over to learn and research and look at all of our online resources. So that's the way I'm going to go to there. So these resources up here are just a few of our more featured resources that we're highlighting at the moment, the ones with the little pictures. Um, you can also look for resources by topic. So say you're interested in computers or technology, you could click on the link and look at all of the different beta databases that you have access with your library card to on computers and technology. Or if you know exactly what you wanna look at, you can click on our A to Z resources and look for them alphabetically um, by name. So I could spend a ton of time taking you guys into a deep dive of each and every one of these resources, but we just don't have the time or space for that. So um, definitely head in, check out some of these um, or come to one of our library branches and one of our helpful librarians will be able to talk you through, walk you through any of the resources you're interested in. That being said, I do have to at least show you one of my favorite digital resources. So this one is good for students and it's called Brain Fuses Help Now. So I'm gonna open this up for you guys. Help Now is one of the many digital tools MCPL has launched to help support learning and economic recovery. So on top of Brain Fuses Help Now, there's also North Star, Vet Now, and Job Now. But Help Now is a particularly wonderful resource that'll appeal to students of all ages, which I think you guys are really interested in coming to this parent academy, right? So we're gonna look a little bit more at this. Brain Fuses Help Now is a unique tutoring and study suite designed for patrons of all ages. So um, Help Now has on-demand one-on-one homework help. So you can get some live tutoring. You can draw or type your questions into an online classroom and receive live homework assistance from a Brain Fuse tutor. And I'm gonna real quick, since we're in the time, show you how to do this. You can select a grade, select a subject. And once you press live help, a chat box is gonna open up and you'll be immediately connected with a tutor. And like I said, you can block, you can draw or type anything in here. So I'm gonna close that up so we don't take up Rosie's time. I'm gonna go back to BrainFuse here. BrainFuse also offers a robust writing lab that helps users become better writers. So you can do real-time writing assistance or you can have a writing analysis done. Um, there's a lot of homework tools, uh, to support distance learning, Skill Surfer, um, which has a lot of brain fuse created lessons and video tutorials. You can do some practice tests um, in, a home, in a lot of different subjects. You can send a question, which is really good for people, uh, for your students maybe that are hesitant to um, interact in a live environment like we are right now. Um, you can send your question and have it sent back to you. 
We also have a foreign language center to, that does on-demand homework help for students taking foreign language classes. And there's a lot more. There's uh, flashcards, practice test games. There's even chess tutoring. I know we miss our chess, our in-person chess playing sometimes. So chess tutoring is an awesome option. And all of these brain flurs Fuse platforms are easy to use. You just log into MCPL's website, create a username, password. You don't even have to give an email address for this one. So now I'm going to go back home for a minute. You guys might be wondering, so say you guys have all these awesome digital resources, right? But I don't have a library card. It's totally not a problem. If you are in a crunch and you want to get one of these online resources access to them right away, you can very easily get a digital library card right from our website for immediate access. So right from our homepage, you can go to get a library card. And on this page, you can view our policies, all the differences between a regular and a digital card. Um, a digital card, like I said, is great for that immediate access, but you definitely want to eventually come into the branch to transfer that digital card into a physical card. All you need is to bring an ID, or if you have a student, bring your grown up with you, with the student, and we can transfer your digital card to a physical card. Um, so on here, you can find out what acceptable forms of IDs are. Um, and just keep in mind that you really want to make that digital card a physical card, because that way then you get to check out books from the library and have access to all of our resources. Okay, so what do I have next for you guys? So even though a lot of things can be done digitally these days, MCPL knows that sometimes you just need a printed document. Um, so I'm going to show you our wireless printing and print to go service. So you can send print jobs to our printer right from your own device. So to find out a little bit about our wireless printing from our homepage, you're going to go back to services, down to our technology services and wireless printing. The library offers wireless and mobile printing for all library users with an MCPL library card. You can send a file to the library from home or print directly from your laptop, smartphone, or tablet while inside or even outside the library. So basically what you're doing here is sending a document from your personal device to our printers. Um, when you get to the library, you scan your library card at the printer, retrieve your document, and there's no need to log into a computer at all. If it's your first time using our printers or our computer services, um, you'll just need to visit the circulation desk or call our library first. Um, very easy instructions to follow. You'd go, you're gonna press on this button to go to our wireless printing service, enter your library card number and upload your document. Any of the librarians are happy to talk you through this on the phone or you can come in and we can show you on your device. Uh, prints to go, again, under technology. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where am I going? Prints to go under library services. Um, so if you don't have any time, don't even have enough time to print from your own device. Um, it's not a problem. With prints to go you can upload your document for printing, schedule an appointment to pick it up, and then uh, you can you don't even have to go to the printer. We'll print it for you and have it ready for pickup. So you follow the steps here to be able to do that. And I'm going to pass it back to Lou to Liz who's going to tell us a little bit about internet to go. Hello, everybody. Let me share my screen. We're going to go right from our home page, as you can see. Um, as Miranda talked about our Prince to Go service, we can't forget our internet to go service that we have as well. Um, for many families, access to the internet can be spotty and sometimes just non existent. So, this can be a real barrier for our students. So, MCPL has a collection of over of 250. Verizon, MIFI, mobile hotspots that are available at all MCPL locations. So basically, I'm going to, it's right under services, right from our homepage, you can go under services and go to technology services, internet to go. And it'll tell you right here that you can place a hold for a hotspot via MCPL's catalog, or you can call Ask a Librarian at 240-777-00. Zero one. 
Um, and hotspots are lent out for two weeks with no renewals. You have to be at least 14, year old, 14 years old to check it out. And you must have a valid MCPO library account. So you can't be blocked. Your account can't be, your library card can't be expired or you can't be in collections um, in order to um, use this service. Um, like, I, like we said, the circulation is for two weeks with no renewal. You can have one mobile hotspot per an account. Um, your hotspots can be um, returned to any library branch. For example, if you are, if you checked your um, hotspot out at um, the Wheaton Library and you happen to be with your kids at the Noise Library, you can drop it off at Noise and we'll make sure it gets to its home. So you can return it to any library branch. You can also um, ask for it to be picked up at any library branch as well. But just for your information, for fees or lot fees for lost or replacement items. Um, the total replacement cost for um, our um, mobile hotspots is $230. Um, there are individual components. So if you just lose a charger, um, that would be 15. If you lose the case, it's 15. If you lose the hotspot, it's uh, um, $199. Just so that you know, um, the data plan on the hotspots do get canceled if it, the hotspot is more than a week overdue. So that means that the device will no longer provide internet service. So another service that we have, if we go back to our homepage, is um, what do I check out next? So let's go there, you go under services again, and you wanna know, you've just finished reading a, a really good book and you wanna know what to read next, you would go to what do I check out next? Um, and you can let us help you find your next great read. You can get personalized book suggestions from MCPL's enthusiastic and experienced staff. So you just fill out our form, tell us a little bit about what you like to read, and then as soon as we can, you'll get an email from us with a list of three to five books um, that our reader advisory experts have chosen for you. So it's like a personalized catered to you reading list. And you just have to give us a little information. Um, it'll tell us what you, you like, what formats you like, what kind of books you're interested in. So we get a feel for what you guys like to read. And then we can send you a list of items that you might want to read um, after your next script for, for it to be your next great read. Another service that we have um, for recommending books is Novelist Plus and Novelist K through eight. So I'm gonna show you how to get to that. That's one of our digital resources. So if you go to learn and research and we go to all online resources because we know exactly what we're looking for, we're gonna use the A to Z um, resource list. So we're gonna go all the way down to Novelist, so the ends and there it is. So we've got Novelist K through eight plus and Novelist plus. With Novelist, we're just gonna open up Novelist K through eight plus so that you guys see what it looks like. Um, but with Novelist plus database, with Novelist databases, you can find good books, fiction and nonfiction for kids, teens and adults. You would just need to input your library card number. Let's see if I can remember, hold on. and your password and you log in and it should take you right in. Let's see. <laughs> um, well, this is logging in. Um, Novelist um, K through eight is a kid-friendly um, database with recommended reading lists, read likes um, award winners, series titles, and more. And then the Novelist Plus also has book discussion guides, book lists, and award winners and book talks and other articles that cover fiction and nonfiction for all ages. So um, novelist K through eight is um, targeted towards um, kids kindergarten to eighth grade. And then our novelist plus is for adults and kids of all ages, teens. And you can look on the side and you can find recommended reading lists in fiction and nonfiction for teens um, and for kids zero to eight and for ages nine to 12. And so if you're looking for 
um, a particular book, a particular genre, you can look through that. If you really liked a book and um, you wanna see what reader likes or like that, you will just click on the book and you can you know, find a reader like. If you're looking for um, um, books that are funny and engaging, this is a list that would have it. You just click on it. It tells you if it's teens, you can put it into a folder if you wanna come back to it to look at it. Um, so this is a really great, um, resource for you guys to use um, if you're looking for books to read or um, or if you're just looking for something new. Another service that we also offer is our Ask a Librarian service. So let's go back to our homepage and I'll show you how to find Ask a Librarian. So if you can't make it to the library but still have questions, don't worry, you can ask a librarian. So if you go to our website and go under services and go under reader services, right here, you can click on ask a librarian. And our librarians are here to help you by phone or by email. Um, and with ask a librarian, you can find answers to brief informational questions, explore library services and get friendly assistance with our website catalog or our electronic resources. So you can call us or you can, fill out this form and get an email from us. One of my favorite Ask a Librarian questions that I got last year is from a mom who was, um, who her son was working on a social studies project and he was trying to collect postcards from all 50 states. So we helped him get a postcard from the state of Maryland. Um, so that was always fun. So you can always just, we're here to help you with whatever, whatever it is that you need. So I'm gonna let Miranda take over now. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna take over screen sharing here again and I'm gonna take you to our kids page. So we have services. We have our youth page. So we have services for kids, teens, early literacy, our thousand books before kindergarten program, learning from home and our discovery rooms. But we're gonna look at our kids page first. So on our kids page, we have upcoming events. So, and our kids page are usually up to that zero to 12 is the appropriate age for that. Um, so first we highlight our upcoming events. These are all listed by categories. So say you're looking for a new book club, you might click on reading programs and go to our calendar of events, see what reading programs are coming up. We have STEM activities, lots of arts and crafts. Um, right now, we are still virtual for uh, children under the age of five. We are slowly starting to bring back some in-person programming for five and up. So definitely check out our calendar of events, um, which you can get to right up here to check out virtual, outdoor, or all of our events. We also have on our kids page an early literacy guide. If you open up this, you can get some quick tips on early literacy, read, sing, play, write, and talk, as long as some, along with some other information. Um, we have information about our thousand books before kindergarten program, which is something I encourage everyone that has kids under five to ask about because it's a really great program to help encourage and get you ready for entering kindergarten. Learn a little bit more about our study rooms our discovery rooms right here. We have some playrooms at some of the branches. Get some homework help. This will actually connect you with some of the digital resources I talked about earlier. Or book lists galore. We've got lots of book lists. So if if you don't wanna to go to, what do, I, what do I check out next? If you don't wanna to go to one of those novelist databases, we've got book lists. These are all, these are mostly curated by your librarians by grade to help give you guys suggested readings. We even have on our YouTube channel, um, some book talks that we just refreshed by some of your favorite librarians. So you can actually get a video of some of your local librarians talking about books they just love to read. We also have, I'm gonna go back to our kids page. Um, so this is a really great page to start if you, um, are looking something for your kids or, you know, you're just looking for some, some resources for children, it's a good starting point if you're not sure where to go. It's a great page to start at. 
We also have a similar page for our teens. Um, our teens page is great for that 13 to 18 range. Uh, you can check out our events for teen. Maybe you want to come to a teen writers club, some game programs, book clubs for teens. You can check them out here. Uh, we also have book lists for teens on this site as well, including um, some award winners, some suggested reading for high school and middle schools, even some tough topic book lists, which can be really helpful for the teens. Um, resources for getting ready for college. I love the P Peterson's test and career prep site. Um, this is a great way to get study prep for SATs, GRE. There's even, um, there's just a whole lot of test resources on there. So it's a great way to get up to date testing um, resources. We even have a digital resource that helps prepare teens for driving. So uh, you can take the practice test for your driver's ed um, on one of these resources as well. And also, because we know you guys always are looking for those SSL hours, uh, on this page, you can also find help look for local jobs or find a volunteer. So we have information on our page, page positions our teen advisory boards, volunteering at the library, or just volunteering within the county in general. And I know this is something our teens are always looking for. So um, real quick, since we have a little bit of time, I really wanna go jump to our calendar of events because I think um, it's a really great resource for us to know. I lose it and Sandra, if you're okay with that, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so from our homepage, you can click on our virtual calendar of events, our outdoor events, or all of our events. Um, I have mine set to look at the whole monthly calendar. You can have it in list mode where you just see what's happening today. Um, and you can open up any of these links to get more information about, this, about the story time. This just happens to be one of our baby story times that we have on Wednesdays, um, baby and toddler now and you would be able to click on the Zoom link to get to it. On these events page, you can filter and search um, by age group. So if you wanna see what's going on for elementary school children, you can click on that and look at any of the events here. So, okay, I'm gonna swap sharing real quick. Can you guys see the slide? No? Okay. Okay. So we just went through a lot of information. Um, but what we shared today is really just the tip of the iceberg of just being with the libraries, working with the libraries, working on our website, coming in and seeing all of our resources. The library is always making and introducing new resources and making updates to better serve the residents of Montgomery County and beyond. Um, for more information or help with any of these resources we discussed today, you can reach out to your local library, Cassandra, Liz, or myself, which you saw our information earlier, um, or ask a librarian. So I have the link right here and I'm gonna paste into the chat in just a moment, um, the link to contact us, or you can call ask a librarian at 240-777-0001.